ano, sa totoo lang, hanggang ngayon, kinukurot ko pa rin sarili ko to make sure I'm not dreaming. Hindi ito panaginip, hindi ito imagination, hindi ito guni-guni ko lang. <laughs> This is real life. And it is happening right here, right now. everyone, this is Hershey Neri, also known as Marilu Bang Bang, or should I say, Gloria Margarita Marilu Bang Bang! And welcome to my vlog! Bilang isang baguhan sa industriyang ito, hindi ko magpigilan, pero kilig na kilig pa rin ako tuwing nakikita ko na surrounded ako by such great actors. To be honest, minsan nga pa nagtatating kami. Napupunta ako sa isang sulok para lang tumayo doon and you observe ko lang silang lahat. Taking it all in. Kailangan ko lang kasi talagang pagmasdan, i-absorb ang nangyayari. There's just so much greatness in one room. Isa na dyan, syempre, ang the one and only Marian Rivera Dantes, a.k.a. our co-producer on the show and also our lead actress. Grabe, alam niyo ba, sobrang idol na idol ko si Miss Marian. Na, nung bata ako, pinapanood ko siya sa TV at pinangarap kong maging pulgoso para lang maging friends with Marimar. <laughs> Miss, sinabi ko pa to sa, sa press con. Naalala ko pa yun, the very first day I saw Ate Marian at shocks doon ko talaga na-confirm na siya ang pinakamagandang babaeng nakita ko sa buong buhay ko. I swear, kasi story conference doon. Tapos yun yung first time ever ko siya makikita in my life. Tapos sabi ko nun, hala, oh my god, nakakaba kasi first sitcom ko to, first time ko silang mamimit. Kaya nag-effort talaga ako sa itsura ko, nag-plancha ako ng buhok, nag-makeup, nag-bestida, nag-heels talagang all out ako for that day. Tapos pagdating ko doon, si Madam Marian, pumasok, fresh. Fresh na fresh siya, tapos naka-shalang-shala na shirt and pants. Tapos nung nagtabi kami, Lamang na lamang pa rin talaga si Miss Marian sa akin. Sabi ko, ano ba yan? Nag-makeup na ako, nag-bestida at lahat. Tapos si Miss Marian, freshness lang talaga. Tapos ang ganda-ganda-ganda niya na talaga. Tapos grabe. Pero kung gaano siya kaganda, yung yung facial features niya, no? ganun din kaganda ang puso niya. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Aalagaan natin ang isa't isa. Enjoy natin ito. And then, just a few days later, si Ate Morgan gumawa siya ng group chat para lahat kami maging close, makapag-usap-usap. Kaya I really, really appreciate that. Napaka-husay ni Miss Marian na aktres at saka napakagaling niyang leader. And of course, nandiyan din si Kuya Dong. Sino bang hindi nagahanga kay Kuya Dong? Grabe, bata pa lang din ako, pinapanood ko na ang Ding Dong Dantes. And I remember a few weeks before our taping, I talked to my friend who's also an actor. Tapos sabi ko, naka-work mo na ba si Sir Ding Dong? Anong masasabi mo sa kanya? And he replied, ang masasabi ko ay napaka-okay niyang leader. Solid yan. Leader talaga. Tapos hindi ko naiintindihan bakit niya sinasabi yun. What do you mean when a person or when an actor, a lead actor is a leader sa set? And that was when I met Kuya Dong. Doon ko talaga nakita na sobrang maalaga siya sa aming lahat. I distinctly remember ng first day of taping ko sa Bongang Villa. Kabadong-kabado ako noon. Tapos nakaupo ako sa makeup chair habang inaayusin ako. Tapos si Kuya Dong at Ate Marian biglang umakyat. Tapos sabi nila, Hello! Good morning! Tapos si Kuya Dong, finished bump ako. Tapos si Ate Marian, bineso ako noon. Tapos yun yung second time ko lang na nakilala sila. Sabi ko, oh my gosh! Nung na starstruck ako noon, tapos sabi ni Kuya Dong, napanood namin yung, yung video mo na sumasayaw habang nagbabalita. Oo oh, ko yun, solid, funny, funny. Sabi ko, hala, nakita pala nila yung mga post ko sa Instagram na nakakahiya. Pero at that moment, na-realize ko that these 
two actors. Alam mo yun, prime time king and queen na sila, veterano and at the top of their game, and yet they're talking to me. Sino nga ba ako? Isang napakabaguhan lang. Tapos, kinakausap nila ako as if I'm someone valuable to the team. Talaga ang pinaramdam nila na teamwork kami dito at welcome ako sa set na to kahit bago lang ako. Doon ko talaga naramdaman na grabe. And the little ways pinakita nila na leaders sila. And as the leaders of our show, sila ang co-producers at ang lead actors, pinaramdam talaga nila na safe itong set na to. They made sure that everyone feels comfortable with each other. And kahit kahit yung mga newbies, di ba, kinakausap nila ako. Kaya sabi ko, one day, sana pag gumasenso ako sa career ko, gusto ko din maging tulad ni Ate Marian at Kuya Dong na kahit veteranong aktor na sila, mangbait pa rin kahit sa mga baguhan at grabe yung heart lang nila to to make Bongongvillea the homey place that it is today. One day, I want to pass on the kindness that I received from them and I want to pass it on to others. Aside from Dong Yan, I'm also surrounded by amazing veteran actors. Nandiyan si Tita Shamaine Buen Camino, ang aking kachika sa dressing room. Siya lagi ang kausap ko buong araw tuwing nakatenga kami sa taping. Minsan nga, sabi namin, sana may nag-document nito, sana may, may mic para makapag-podcast kami kasi ang ganda ng mga pinag-uusapan namin. And I learned so much from Tita Shamaine, everything from life lessons to career advice. She's just always full of substance and wisdom and I'm just so, so grateful for her mentorship. Grabe! And of course, nandiyan din si Tita Pinky Amador, the one and only. Isa din siyang veteranong theater actress. And I'm just so, so blessed to get to know her. We all know her as yung kontrabida roles, di ba, sa TV. But in real life, she's so jolly. She's the life of the party. Grabe, another dream come true. Ako yun naman to. Ito yun yun naman ang katabi ko. The very beautiful Miss Pinky. Hello, everyone. She's so sweet, and I also took her master class. My management, Triple A, enrolled me in her acting workshop. So I'm just, it, it just feels so surreal to 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 be mentored by such a brilliant actress and a woman I admire. Grabe! Parang minsan ka, totoo ba tong sinasabi ko na real life pa to? And there's also Tita Johnny Revilla, na sobrang sobrang sweet. Tita Johnny, say hi to my vlog. Hi vlog, how are you? <laughs> are you okay, Johnny, my vlog? The I one am and fine. only Johnny Revilla. Yes. Uh, uh, the ang ganda ng outfits natin yes, today. Yes, sobrang. <laughs> Siya ang aming resident cool lolo na laging nakasmile. Kahit 6am yung call time namin. Ako, ano, parang may muta-muta pa ako. Tapos, antok ba? Tapos, pagdating ko sa set city to, Johnny, nakasmile na agad. Tapos, good morning, darling! Tapos, mag-ibeso siya. Tapos, si Tito Johnny, sobrang galing niya magluto ng pasta. The best pasta ever! Tingnan ko kanina. Wow! Pasta by Tito Johnny. Tito Johnny. Diba? Thank so you simple. for the pasta. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tito Johnny, I love your pasta. Pero ayaw mong i-share ang recipe mo. Ano ba yan? <laughs> and aside from Tito Johnny, syempre nandiyan ang aking partners na si Kuya Pekto at si Kuya Benji Paras. I'm also so grateful to be working with them. Napaka-funny nilang mga tao as in. Sigurado magiging memorable ang stay nila dito sa atin. <laughs> Kahit wala kami on cam, kahit ano, kahit behind the scenes, ganun sila kakwela, kalokohan, lahat ginagawa nila to make everyone laugh and feel close to one another behind the scenes. And I think that's very important. That's a vital part in every sitcom. Kasi makikita yan eh. Makikita mo kung gano'n ka close ang cast sa performance. And makikita mo naman sa Bongang Villa, lahat kami close dahil kay Kuya Pekto at kay Kuya Benji. Grabe sila magpasaya ng set. Good morning so much, Kuya. Sige, ilam mo ako aga-aga. Huwag mo akong anahin. Kuya Benji, takad nga. There's 
also my on-screen little sister, si Zonia Mejia, with her love theme, Jamir Zabarte. And sobrang, sobrang cute na lang dalawa. As in, nakahakilig sila. And they keep me young with their TikTok dances, yung mga chikahan namin. I'm just so happy to be with them. They're, they're so talented and nice people. Hello! Ay, fuck! Hindi ko kailangan. Hindi naman ng mga to. Di ba trabaho ngayon? Ah, uh, kasama po yun. Nandiyan din si Jomari Ingaran at saka si Lujo Gonzalez na mga kasama namin sa Team Bongga. At napakabait ng dalawang to. And masaya sila kausap pagdating sa pagkain. Lagi sila nag-share ng mga pang food trip dyan. Kaya ang saya. And last but definitely not the least, nandiyan si Derek Sweet aka The John Lapus. And I can't help but feel so emotional whenever I talk about the next week because I literally grew up as an actor under his wings. Alam nyo ba na siya yung pinakauna kong director ever for an acting role and that was Boyfriend Number 13 in 2021. Naging guest director din siya sa Phil in the Bank noong 2021. At siya din ang writer ng episode that I guested in for Daddy's Girl with the main Mendoza in 2021. Tapos siya naman ang director ng first ever kong comedy gag show na Balito Wanan 2022. And of course, siya ngayon ang director ng Jose and Maria's Bongang Villa. Kaya, grabe, I really, really look up to the next week. I learned so much from him and I, I continue to learn from him every day. Grabe, idol na idol ko siya bilang isang komedyante at aktor. Napakahusay niya. And as a director, napakabait. And lagi kaming happy set because of the next week. Kaya I'm just so, so grateful. And as I film this vlog, we are currently on our last day set taping. Kaya naman I promised myself, gusto ko tong i-document. I, I want to keep these memories with me and gusto ko siyang balikan one day just to remind myself na ang sarap nangarap. Jose and Maria's Bongang Villa will forever be special in my heart because it's my first ever regular sitcom job and it's my first time to be working with the primetime king and queen, Dong Yan, and my idols and I just learn something every day. As in, it, it, it sounds so cliche, pero totoo yun. And this is the best job ever. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm living my dream job. And I'm always going to be grateful for this. Kaya sabi ko, kailangan ko tong i-vlog. Kailangan kong i-keep itong memories na to Because it's just a gift talaga. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy my vlog. Episode. Yay! <laughs> At ito ang script. Hershey as Marilu. Ang full name ka po ay Gloria Margarita Marilu Kabangbang. <laughs> Ayan. Super excited ko kasi first time ko may meet lahat ng bonggang bongga kasi nung story ko, hi hello lang kami. So ngayon mag-bonding kami ng cast. I'm super excited at kasama ko ngayon mag-hi kayo kay Kuya Louie. Hi! Ayan, Kuya Louie, vlogger din yan. At siya yung mga kasama ko sa taping. Yes. Ang pinsan ko, si Kuya Shua, nagda-drive. <laughs> We're on our way. Saan tayo? Auntie Polo. Auntie Polo! Let's go! Ang bongga, oh. Oh, ang bongga ng ano, holding room. <laughs> May kama. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya Shwa. Kuya Shwa, kayo ko muna sa vlog ko. Thank you! Thank you! Hello. <laughs> Yung holding room namin. Ang ganda naman dito. Wow! Fairness, ang ganda! Oh. Yung aming view. Hair and makeup. Kailan ako? Ayan. 
nakakatuwa. Nag-reunion kami ni Mama Edward. Pakita mo naman. Face reveal ka naman dyan, Mama. <laughs> Sobrang sabi naman nun. Bunga nga bunga nga ako to. Naayop na yan. O diba, ang saya talaga nung set na to. Kasi itong si Mama Edward, every morning, masaya yan. Diba? Energy, energy. Kasama. Ay, syempre, nakita na naman nila ako sa dati mo pang mga so videos. Ba? Diba? Hey! It was my first time to meet and work with most of the people in the cast. Kaya nung unang days of taping, medyo nagkakapaan pa kami. But as time went by, I can honestly say na mas naging close kami as a cast, as a family, and kitang-kita yon napaka-happy ng set namin lagi. Yes! 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 Yes!
daw yung nagkalat ng fake news, hmm, ikaw na lang natatagalin. Yo! Mahilig kaming magkulitan at mag-asaran as a cast. And one of our running jokes is that gustong-gusto nila akong ginugulat kasi madali akong magulat. Kaya ayan, may montage na kami, oh. Alam nyo ba kung ano yung one of the best parts of taping Bongang Villa? Lunch time! Kasi si Ate Marian laging nagdadala ng sobrang sarap ng mga fudang. Grabe, happy set talaga kami. Lagi kaming busog sa set. <laughs> Shout out sa inyo and uh, good morning. Good morning. Ang sporty mo naman ngayon, kuya. Ba, si Klista. Si Klista. I love it. Ready ka na ba tumalon sa pool mamaya, kuya? Kuya Pekto, daring ka naman ngayon. Ikararami ito ng views natin. Hello Vlad, welcome to my guys. Today kasi ang aming swimming scene, kaya naka-swimsuit attire ang inyong Lola. What? Ay! Hindi naka-swimsuit si Tito Charmaine, ano ba yan? Papahain! One of the most unforgettable experiences I've had taping for Jose and Maria's Bongang Villa this season is tuwing lumulublub kami sa swimming pool. Kasi first time kong magkaroon ng eksena habang nasa pool at challenging pala siya, grabe! Grabe! I can go on and on and on about how much Bongong Villa has changed me. I feel like I picked up so many lessons and nuggets of wisdom not only in acting but also in life. I will always treasure this season and I will always be grateful to be surrounded by the best people. The best bosses and mentors, the best co-workers, the best staff, crew, and friends. Gusto kong magpasalamat kay God for this once-in-a-lifetime gift, sa mga bosses ko sa APT Entertainment for taking a chance on me, and sa lahat-lahat ng sumaporta sa aming napakasayang show. I hope to see you soon, mga kangkungers! Ready? Oh, yang kanta. Ang kaling talaga ng The Edward Affair. Of course. Once you're there, oh, tarap. Yes.